OSIRIS-REx is a NASA mission to explore near-Earth asteroid Bennu, a remnant from the dawn of the solar system, and to return a sample of Bennu to Earth. On September 8, 2016, OSIRIS-REx began its journey to Bennu from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard an Atlas V rocket. It lifted off shortly before sunset, climbing eastward over the Atlantic Ocean to traverse the night side of Earth. One hour later, OSIRIS-REx separated from its Centaur upper stage rocket and drifted into space. It deployed its solar rays to catch the rising sun and made a final pass over Australia before embarking on its outbound cruise to Bennu. After a year in orbit around the sun, OSIRIS-REx briefly returned to Earth in September 2017 for a gravity assist. The spacecraft passed within 18,000 km of Antarctica then turned its instrument deck toward home to capture images and spectra of Earth and the Moon. The gravity assist bent the trajectory of OSIRIS-REx by 6 degrees, matching the orbital tilt of Bennu, and sent the spacecraft on a path to catch its target. In August 2018, OSIRIS-REx began its approach phase. Its long-range camera captured the first visible light images of Bennu as a single pixel moving across a field of stars. Over the following months, Bennu grew from a pixel into a world, with OSIRIS-REx revealing its shape, rotation and color for the first time. After chasing its target for over two years, OSIRIS-REx arrived at asteroid Bennu on December 3, 2018. It fired thrusters to match Bennu's velocity and began its preliminary survey. OSIRIS-REx passed high above the equator and the poles, measuring Bennu's position and mass and refining its size, shape and spin. Then the spacecraft ventured close enough to Bennu to be captured into orbit by its minuscule gravity, making it the smallest world ever to be orbited by a spacecraft. In early 2018, OSIRIS-REx broke orbit to conduct a detailed survey of Bennu. First, it was carrying out a mapping campaign called the Baseball Diamond. By observing Bennu at different latitudes and times of day, OSIRIS-REx captured stereo images and identified large rocks on the surface that could pose a hazard later in the mission. In its second mapping campaign, OSIRIS-REx observed Bennu from seven different stations around its equator. At each station, it took measurements from pole to pole using its mapping camera, laser altimeter and two spectrometers. The combined data provided a detailed look at Bennu's geologic features and its composition. This improved landmark-based navigation enabled mission planners to begin looking for places to collect a sample. Following the detailed survey, OSIRIS-REx once again entered orbit at a radius of only one kilometer. Orbital B served as the mission's safe home orbit until sample collection. During this phase, OSIRIS-REx globally mapped Bennu. It flew in a polar orbit, enabling full coverage of the surface. Orbital B's precession, or wobble, was also used to measure Bennu's gravity field along with non-gravitational forces that are slowly altering Bennu's trajectory. In mid-2019, OSIRIS-REx began its reconnaissance phase. It broke orbit and flew over four candidate sample sites at 225 meters, taking high-resolution images. Flying at a such close proximity revealed large pebbles that could pose a hazard during sample collection. Mission planners used this information to select the two best sites for additional inspection, Nightingale site and Osprey. At a range of 525 meters, OSIRIS-REx flew over the two final candidate sites, spectrally mapping the surface to reveal its chemical composition. This information helped mission planners determine the most valuable site for collecting the sample. After selecting the final site, OSIRIS-REx began its rehearsal phase. First, it practiced autonomous flight to a predetermined checkpoint, where it started its descent during sample collection. Next, OSIRIS-REx practiced flying to the match point. The spacecraft lowered to within 30 meters of the surface to match Bennu's speed and rotation, a necessity for safely touching the asteroid. Finally, in October 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected a sample of Bennu. Before its descent to the surface, the spacecraft deployed its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM, a new technology invented for the mission. When it reached the checkpoint, OSIRIS-REx began its final descent. It pulled back its solar arrays for safety 
and approach the surface at centimeters per second, the walking pace of an insect. As the taxam touched down, it blew high-pressure nitrogen gas into the soil, stirring up loose material. A filter within the sample head trapped rocks and dirt while allowing the gas to escape to space. After collecting the sample, Osiris Rex fired the thrusters and backed away from Bennu, retreating to a safe distance with its precious cargo. Following collection, Osiris Rex verified the status of the sample using a camera called SamCam. This visual inspection revealed whether any large debris was still attached to the sample head, which could pose a hazard during stowage. Next, Osiris Rex verified the mass of the sample. It fully extended its taxam arm and performed a spin maneuver, measuring the change in inertia to determine the sample's mass. After collecting 260 grams, mission planners commanded the spacecraft to stow the sample. Stowcam watched closely as the sample had entered the return capsule and secured it. Osiris Rex then detached the taxam arm from the head sealed the sample return capsule and prepared for its journey back to Earth. After departing from Bennu in early 2021, Osiris Rex will return to Earth on September 24, 2023. Four hours prior to arrival, the spacecraft will release the sample return capsule, then deflect away from Earth to its final orbit as its piece of Bennu comes home. The sample will enter the atmosphere over the night side of Earth, streaking toward the central California coastline at over 12 km per second. West of the Great Salt Lake, at an altitude of approximately 33 km, the capsule will initiate the parachute sequence, stabilizing and slowing its descent. Upon landing in the Utah desert, the sample will be recovered, carefully removed from the capsule, and taken to the Osiris Rex Curation Facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This pristine material from the early solar system will be studied for decades to come, providing clues to the formation of the planets, to the evolution of life, and to the ingredients that were present at the origins of life. On April 2022, NASA confirmed that the Osiris Rex mission would be extended. After dropping off its sample to Earth, the mission will become Osiris Apex or Apophis Explorer. As its new name suggests, the next target will be the near-Earth asteroid and potentially hazardous object 99942 Apophis. Observations of Apophis will commence on April 2029. Osiris Apex will orbit Apophis for around 18 months in a regime similar to that at Bennu. The spacecraft will also perform a maneuver similar to sample collection at Bennu by using the thrusters to disturb Apophis' surface in order to expose and spectrally study the subsurface and the material beneath it. 